parts per million is similar to mass percent in terms of concentration in that it is the mass of solute out of the total mass of solution. But when a percent by mass, when you times by 100, is going to give you too small of a number, you can multiply by a million instead. That will give you a new unit called parts per million. What is the concentration if you drop 15 grams of salt into a 2,000 liter swimming pool? That's 2,000 kilograms of water. Well, ppm is mass of solute. I'm going to use 15 grams for my numerator. And mass of solution, which is technically the combination of the water and the salt together. Now, 2,000 kilograms, I'd have to multiply that by another thousand to get it in actual grams because the units have to match for them to cancel here that's two million grams and because solution is the combination of the solvent and solute i should add 15 to that so i technically have two million and 15 grams of solution it's the combination of the two now, don't forget, you have to multiply by an actual million. That is a one with six zeros at the end, or one times 10 to the power of six, if you're into scientific notation. Let's do 15 divided by 2 million and 15. That's a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of the mass that is just sodium chloride. And in order to make that a manageable number, I have to multiply it by... 1 times 10 to the power of 6. Now, on my calculator, it's a button that says EXP. I guess it's a little faded. You can see it better on this other calculator. It might be EE or times 10 to the power of instead. Here for me, it shows 1 times 10 to the power of 6. All right, so I end up with 7.4999. I'm going to write that whole thing down. 7.4999. 9 ppm. But just keep in mind for significant figures, this one had three significant figures. This one technically only had one, which is ridiculous, so perhaps I should have put a decimal point there. That's now four significant figures. I have to bring this down to three, so that means the seven and four and the nine is the last one. It gets rounded up, so I end up with 7.50 ppm anyways. It turns out that that 15 was almost completely inconsequential compared to the 2 million grams of water, but mass of solution is what goes in the denominator always anyways. Just want to emphasize that. In 2018, Toronto's drinking water contained 15 ppms of sodium. Now, if a typical person drinks their 8 cups of water a day, that's 2 liters, that's 730 kilograms Per year. How much sodium would they have ingested through that? Well, here we're actually being given the ppm, so I'll put that here on the left side of the equal sign where ppm goes. We don't know how much sodium they're ingesting. That's what we're being asked about, so I'll put an m there. And we do know the approximate mass of the solution. It's 730 kilograms. That's 730,000 grams. Now, don't forget your times 10 to the power of 6. Now, to solve for m here, you have to undo the things that are being done to m. In order to undo that times 10 to the power of 6, you have to divide by 10 to the power of 6 on the other side. And in order to undo this division, you have to multiply on the other side. That's 730,000. Let's do that on our calculator. We got 730,000 times 14, and then we divide it by 1 times 10 to the power of 6. That's a 1 with 6 zeros on the end. The answer ends up being 10.22. So that 10.22 grams is the slow buildup of tiny amounts of sodium every day through your drinking water. 10 grams of sodium is small in the grand scheme of things, but hey, Live your life the way you want to. Significant figures, that's two. That's two. I need 
two in my final answer, so this ends up being 10 grams. I have to put the decimal there to make sure that trailing zero counts. That's not the point. The point is PPM is just like mass percent in that you put mass of the thing that's dissolved, the solute, or the mass of the solution, that's the whole thing, and you times it by a million instead of just a hundred like you would for mass percent. Beautiful. Best of luck.